What's up, the Giant Squad? This is Champion here. Your YouTube world has Champion YouTube, and I'm coming to my WWE Monday Night Raw review for August 27, 2008. So let's get things going, shall we, with the John Squad? So we kicked off the Monday Night Raw last night with Roman Reigns, and he talks about that he told Braun Strowman that he would he would meet him at 8 p.m. and it is now you know it is now that he will come out to the ring, and now it is 8:05 p.m. So now. So, so now Braun Strowman comes out to the, and now he talks about the shield and says that they are war courses. And then Braun Strowman comes out and confronts Roman and talks about the shield. Roman tells Braun that he has no clue what be climbing to the top of the mountain is becoming a champion. So, so and and that's why he he is. So that's why he just, you know, basically just tells him and talks to him and just tells him that the Shield are war courses and just talks to him and stuff. And then Braun says that, then Roman says, why doesn't he cash in the money in the bank briefcase tonight in Toronto and have the match tonight for the Universal Championship in Toronto? But then Braun Strowman tells him no, that he's going to have to wait for September 16th for this match to happen at Hell in a Cell. So, so then Braun Strowman agrees to cash in his money in the bank contract at Hell in a Cell inside of Hell in a Cell. So that's what we get. So then Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre come out and they both cut a promo and they both just talk on the mic and say that they want to fight, you know, Roman and Braun Strowman, and then so Constable Baron Corbin comes out and announces a tag team match for for the main event for the night. He announces Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre. Uh, hold on, Braun Strowman versus. Teams up with Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre versus Braun Strowman ver, ver, and Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre versus you know what I mean and the tag team match versus Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman versus Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre in the main event tonight. Now I finally got it. So that's what happens there. So then, Console Baron Corbin books himself in the match for the first match, and Console Baron Corbin versus Finn Balor, and the winner was Finn Balor versus, and the winner was Finn Balor by DQ. But then, as unfortunately was, is that Con the acting GM that he forced himself to do. Baron Corbin decides to get on the mic and says it's that no wait 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 after he gets himself the Q after hitting him back with the chair I decided to change this match around and change this match into a did disqualification so he turns this around and turns it into a no DQ and then console Baron Corbin picks up the win as the acting GM and actually he wins the match so acting GM is actually the is actually the winner and so that was the winner of the match so then the second match we had on Role was Dana Brooke versus Sasha Banks, and the winner was Sasha Banks. So then we had an in promo on Raw with Seth Rollins, and he talks about last week and that about um, taking care of family business, and then he talks about how he's ready to do the open open invitational intercontinental championship challenge. So that's what he talks about, and so he talks about that. So then he does the open challenge, and the intercontinental champion open challenge, and out comes Kevin Owens to answer the open challenge, and so we have that, and Kevin Owens cuts a promo, how he talks about it's just been his bad days, so that's what happens there, so then we get this match underway, and so the third match on Raw was an intercontinental championship open challenge, and we had Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens, and the winner was, and still, our intercontinental champion, Seth Rollins, this match was amazing, amazing from the starting point. Those guys tore the house down. What a match this was from the very beginning. Whoa, what a match this 
was. Man, I couldn't believe how Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins just won. Like, it was on, you know, I couldn't believe how this match was. Seth Rollins won this match, but you never know who could have won anyway, you know. But anyway, after the match from comes back from commercial, Kevin Owens announces now that he quits after sitting in a chair, and that's what happens in that segment. So, the next match we had on Raw was the B team, B team, B team, go, 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 versus the Revival. And the winner was the Revival. After the match, the Revival attacked Bo Dallas and attacked Bo Dallas, and then and then the the B team decided to cut a promo on the mic and then grab the Raw tag team titles, and then they cut a promo on the mic, and that's what happens in that segment. So then. We had Elias' performance, and he talks about John Tavares, which and it says that go and when it says and that John Tavares told him that going to New York to Toronto was a disappointment, which and that's not true, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, you know, Elias just likes to make fun of different cities, and then Trish Stratus comes out and talks to Elias and talks about there to be evolution, and then she. She, you know, this is Trish Stratus' return to the WWE, and then she starts to tell Lies to shut his mouth, and then she just slaps Lies in the face. So then the fifth match we had on Raw was Natalia versus Alicia Fox, and the winner was Natalia. Another match we had on Raw was a two on one handicap match Bobby Lashley versus the Ascensions, and the winner was Bobby Lashley. So then, we go on to the next match we had on Raw was Dean Ambrose versus Jinder Mahal. And the winner was Dean Ambrose. So then, this is the confusing part for me. Because the main event we had on Raw was Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman versus Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. And... This match probably ended in a no contest because Braun Strowman decided to turn on Roman Reigns and apparently Dolph Ziggler and Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre decided to work together and beat it down on Roman Reigns. Then Dean Ambrose comes out and tries to make the save. He gets beat up by Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Then all of a sudden now Seth Rollins comes out and tries to make the save. Then he gets beat up by Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler. And then Braun Strowman lays out Roman Rings and, and, and Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre decide to work together to lay out Roman Rings. And then they all stand in the ring and stand tall, all three of them together. And that's what happens to end. WWE Monday Night Raw with all the Shield three members laying out together with Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre, and Dolph Ziggler joining forces, all three of them together. Shocking, right? Well, once again, the John Scott, please like this video. Don't forget to tap that bell on YouTube up so you never miss up on my videos. Once again, please like this video, leave your comments down below, and subscribe for more, and leave, leave a comment down below what your favorite part of WWE Monday Night Raw was last night. Peace out, the John Squad. I love you guys. Peace.